For question number five, we have an arithmetic sequence, and we know that a3 is equal to 0, a7 is equal to 12, and our goal is to find out what s10 is equal to. And s10 means the sum of the first 10 terms. And since we're dealing with an arithmetic sequence, we should know two formulas to begin with. So let me write down what are the formulas that we need to know. And keep in mind, arithmetic sequence means that it's a sequence that you just keep adding or subtracting the same number over and over. The first formula that we need is that the nth term formula, which is a n, is equal to a1, the first number in the sequence, the first term in the sequence, plus parentheses n minus 1 times d. And d is a number that you keep adding or subtracting. So that's what we call the common difference. We also need to know the Sn formula, which that will give us the sum of the first n terms. And that is n over 2, parentheses, so n over, n over 2 times a1 plus a n, like that. Now we have these two formulas, and in order for us to find S10, it seems like n is equal to 10 in this formula, and we need to find out what a1 is, and we also need to find out what a10 is. However, we only have a3 and a7, so we don't have enough information yet to find S10. But let's use these two informations along with my first formula and try to figure out what A1 and A10 is. So I'll begin by, I will say use the formula An is equal to A1 plus parentheses n minus 1 times D. And from this information, A3 is equal to 0. This means that n is equal to 3. So if I know n is equal to 3, I can just plug in 3 into this general formula for now. And let's see what we get. It will be a, and the n will be 3. And that will be equal to a1, which I don't know what it is. Plus, parentheses, and once again, n is equal to 3. So n will become 3 right here. Minus 1 times d. Again, I don't know what um, the difference is. And now, I can also set that another equation from a7. That means n is equal to 7, and I will get a7 is equal to a1 plus n is equal to 7, so which we will get 7 inside, minus 1 times d, like that. And a3 right here, let's just look at the first formula that we get from a3. A3 is equal to 0, so this formula becomes 0 equals to a1, so a1, plus, I have 3 minus 2 in the parentheses, which is, I mean 3 minus 1 in the parentheses, which is equal to 2. So I can just write down a1 plus 2d, and from this, form, uh, from this equation, I have a7, but a7 is equal to 12. So I can write this as 12 equals to a1 plus 7 minus 1, which is 6, plus 60, just like that. And we have two equations, two unknown. And now we are going to solve for both a1 and d. And we see that we have the um, a1 pretty much by itself. There's no number in front of the a1. Uh, technically, it's like a 1. So I will begin by doing this with elimination. Let me multiply negative 1 on the second equation. And I will just need to put a negative in front of all the terms. Just like that. If I do that, I can just combine these two equations together. 0 and negative 12 is just negative 12. But then a1 and negative a1 cancel each other out. And 2d minus 6d, I have negative 4d, like that. And now we can just divide both sides by negative 4 to cancel out the negative 4. And also divide the negative 4 here. d is equal to negative 12 over negative 4, which is positive 3. So here, we know that the common difference is equal to 3. But we still need to find out what a1 is. Okay? 
So I will go back to here, and it seems that we can use this equation right here. I can just plug in d is equal to 3 into one of these equations, and I will just write it down right here. I will just say use the equation. 0 is equal to a1 plus 2d. But we know d is equal to 3. So we get 0 is equal to a1 plus 2 times 3. And a 0 is equal to a1 plus 6. Subtract 6 on both sides. Right? Subtract 6 on, on both sides. I will get um, a1 is equal to negative 6. Now we know a1 is equal to negative 6. And we are almost done. Because referring back to the formula, in order for us to find s10, where n is equal to 10. Here is the n, which is 10. I have the a1 already, but I still need to find out what a10 is. Okay? So in this case, n is equal to 10. In order for us to find a10, I have to use the first formula once again. So I will get a10 is equal to a1 plus parentheses n is 10 minus 1 times d, like that. And then it seems like we got everything that we know already, everything that we need to have already. Well, a1 is negative 6. Okay, so I'll plug into the formula. Plus 10 minus 1, which is just 9. And d, we got that earlier, which is 3. So 9 times 3 like this. And this is just computations. Negative 6 plus 9 times 3, which is 27. And we get 21. In other words, a10 is equal to 21. And finally, I can just plug in everything that we have into this formula. n is equal to 10. To get as 10, this is 10 over 2 times a1, which we know is negative 6. Plus, and we also have to find out what a10 is. But we did that already, which is 21. So this is a1, this is a10, just like that. And 10 divided by 2 is 5 times this is 15. Negative 6 plus 21 is 15. And 5 times 15 is, of course, 75. So I have as 10 is equal to 75. And that's my final answer.